are here in Indiana, kind of some people call this the home of RVs and stuff. So, um, and I was able to avoid all of the tolls on this trip, which is really cool. So Waze kind of just naturally uh, avoids them, you know, like takes me off the main highways that have tolls and stuff like that. So cool. They're not always the best driving roads. Some of them have like terrible potholes and stuff like that, but um, it works anyway. Um, Morgan and I are going to go into the Motorhome and RV Hall of Fame here in Elkhart, Indiana. It's not very busy right now unless we park in the wrong area. There's one Chevy RV right there. In fact, I think, now that I think about it, I think we did park in the wrong area. But anyway, let's go check it out. There we go, RV Motorhome Hall of Fame. There's a Travco right out front. That's pretty neat. They are open seven days a week. So we'll start here in the Irving Hall. Oh, here's some pictures of how they start it on the actual chassis frame. Then they start constructing the kitchen. Oh, these are some really neat models. Wow, all the wiring on top of the roof. And they start putting the walls together. And there you go. Magically you have an RV. Look at all those cushions. <laughs> Very neat. Oh, they've got several Shastas. I absolutely love this turquoise and, and white scheme. Big bright wing on the side. Let's take a look inside. Yep. Oh, look at the seats. Wow. This one is beautiful. Fridge right here. Stove and oven. Um, no bathroom? Oh yeah, there's a toilet, there's a shower. Wow, very neat. This yellow and white one right here is a 1954 Shasta. I do apologize for the low light, but you get a good idea. Lots and lots of yellow in this one. Wow. And then look at this old mallard right here. It is something unique that they've restored these and maintained them. You get the orange old school fridge, stove, sink, got everything you need. A bed turns into a couch, overhead storage right here. And lots of uh, closet space. No bathroom though. These are light. You can tow these with a SUV, a six cylinder. Those are the only three vintage ones in this room. You gotta go next door. We'll be next door here in a minute. Oh, we'll look at something totally different now. This Vista. Oh, there's people in there. We'll wait on that one. We'll check out this Keystone. Holy crumb. Now let me just point out for the record, I know there's a lot of RV channels that do like RV tours often and I don't watch them because I feel like they get old. So I apologize, this is the only video like in the last two years where I've ever done RV tours and stuff. And this is just for fun. I'm really excited about the vintage stuff. But this is pretty stinking fancy. If you're gonna walk up here, this just feels like a house. This is a, like a real living room type thing with the fireplace and the couches and everything. Of course the slide outs are all out, but pretty, Incredible. And then a back bedroom back here with a lots of room back here in the bedroom. Wow. And then we'll peek in the bathroom here. Full shower. Pretty neat. A little excessive for an RV, but hey, you got the money, why not, right? All right, here's the RV Founders Hall. This is gonna be exciting. The American journey, the all-American family experience of travel with a home on wheels is often replete with memories and stories of the road and images of scenic places across our vast wonderland. We hope your visit here will bring back memories of family good times on the road and excite the wanderlust for new adventurers. Oh my gosh. Bear with me. There will be time to look at all of these. Here we've got a 1913 Earl travel trailer and a Model T Ford pulling it. Simple, basic, but for the early times, they had the right idea. This is a 1960 telescoping apartment, is what they call it. 
automobile telescope apartment. It's very neat. It's got to be a selling point. Some old school camping gear there. And there you go. You can sleep in it. Here's some pictures. <laughs> it's just the tailgater of 1916. Pretty cool. 1960 cozy camp tent trailer. Unbelievable. 1931 wow. Model AA Ford house car called the Tennessee Traveler. Look at the wooden seats up front. Look in the back. Oh my gosh. Incredible. Little wood burning stove right here. There's the chute for the stove. <laughs> okay, now we're getting to the fun stuff the airstreams. This is a 1958 22 foot airstream trailer. Now you can't go inside every single trailer, so we won't be going inside, but at least my camera can go inside. And although I'm reaching inside and I can't see anything, I will check it out later as well. 22 footer though. And right next door, you've got a 1958 Airstream. It says it's the smallest Airstream ever built. Only one ever made. The smallest ever. Wow. Yeah, pretty uh, basic, but awesome. Um, I'm pretty sure this is leather. Let me just take a... That's leather or at least leather bound on the outside. I don't know how well that would hold up to weather. 1935 covered wagon travel trailer. Uh, I don't think you're gonna see too many of these out on the road today. Wow. <laughs> Here is a 1935 comfort travel trailer. nineteen fifty Fleetwood Sporter. This is the very first camper built by Hall of Fame member John Crean. Wow. Fifty four Holiday Rambler. I love the cream and red stripes on this one. And look at the interior. Oh wow. You can go inside this one. Really old fridge there. It says Trophy Richards Astral. Wow. Oh, Coleman propane lamp. Oh, look at the couch right there. Wow. It's like overload RV excitement at this place. Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll cross over here and look at this 55 Ranger Crank Up Tent Trailer. Way back in 55. A tent trailer. Check out the uh, dual entrance on this old one. Stainless steel outer. It's a 54 Yellowstone travel trailer. Another uh, wood burning stove right here. Really old school fridge called a Marvel. Wow. 57 Ciro Scotty 12 foot trailer. And then a 57 10 foot teardrop. Did you know they make teardrops that early? Yeah, pretty much for sleeping and that's about it. Here we got a 64 Coachman Cadet. Too dark in there. And then made famous by Breaking Bad, Jesse's Bounder, the 85 Fleetwood Bounder. There's no lights on in there and no way to turn them on, but I assure you there's no meth lab in this one. 66 Mustang travel trailer. Look at the stainless steel reflective on this one. Huh. Wow, no heater. I don't think that one's very efficient. Pretty darn unique. 67 fan luxury liner. This looks like the era of Tilly, a Ford Chateau coachman, but it is absolutely looks in mint condition. 
The paint is shiny and waxed. Sir, do you mind if I check out your 1978 Coachman Leprechaun on a Ford chassis? I think I will. Oh yeah. Wow, the roof is in perfect condition. The ceiling. Beautiful. Here's something kind of funky. It's a 1937 Hunt house car. Gunmetal gray. Lots of wood cabinetry in there. I mean, look at the wood ceiling. And then tile. Is that real tile? That is a real tile shower bathroom in there as well. Bolus Road Chief from San Fernando, California. It's a 1935 Road Chief. I would love to know if anybody watching this video has ever seen anything like this. A Star Streak 2. Absolutely just looks space age. What the heck? And it's not very tall either. Wow. Very odd. There is some neat art in here. A 1928 Pierce Arrow Fleet house car. Look at the plumbing. Oh my goodness. Wow. 1954 Spartan mobile home. That is a huge one. It's a 42 foot mobile home. Not really an RV, but wow. It's like a single wide trailer. Really old oven. Bunk beds. Shower, bathroom, and bedroom. Wow. 1939 Schult 8x20 foot house trailer. Another uh, wood burning stove here. This uh, 1935 Cozy Camp tent trailer here. It says the 1929 covered wagon was the first production travel trailer in the United States. Covered wagon became the largest travel trailer manufacturing company during the 1930s, going public on the New York Stock Exchange in 1937. 1969 Pace Arrow, Fleetwood's first motorhome. Pretty cool. I'm in a Fleetwood motorhome. This is the first ever. Nice job, Fleetwood. I'm impressed. The big couch here in the back is a little confusing. I'm not sure what that was meant to be for, unless you had like a big screen TV up here or something. But check out the driver's area here. Get some pictures. Oh, wow. Ford. That's a really old Ford. 1969 Stites chassis mount truck camper. Big old bench seat up front. Hey, it works. I like it. Not a whole lot of information about this one here, except that it was donated by Virgil Miller. Kind of looks like the RV that uh, Ramblin uh, Phoenix Ramblers use. Country Air? Not sure. Sorry, guys. It might not, might not be the same kind, but it looks similar. Couch right inside. Kitchen. Yep. There we go. Then, uh, James, this one's for you. This old GMC. Painted Desert 260. They're calling it a 1974 GMC. And we'll take a peek inside. Oh, interesting layout with the dinette and the couch up front. And then you got a mid-section kitchen here. Fridge freezer. In the back, 
another couch, and the bathroom's back here too. This one here is a 1967 Winnebago. Unmistakable front nose there in these. This one looks really bright. Wow. Very neat. You don't see too many of these on the road still either. I'm going to try to remember to check this place out in Florida. Uh, it's I-4, exit 14, next to Bates RV in Tampa, Florida. Definitely made to check that one out. Hey guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe, check out all our other videos, and keep following us on the road. Thanks, guys.